how to create video animation in Canva. Hey guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel. Today we'll be taking a look at how you can get started with creating video animation in Canva. So let's get into it. So the first thing I like to do is head on over to canva.com and then I'm going to click on videos and I will just create a blank video. So what this will allow me to do is just create, you know, the basic design however I want and then I can animate it however I want. Now, if you go into the top left, you have a design section and you have multiple different templates. So you have a bunch of different templates that you can pick out from, countdown templates, welcomes, uh, intros, outros. So you do have quite a few of those options if you want to create something like that. But let's go on ahead and create something a little different. So how can you animate something that is still? Well, Canva allows you to add multiple different transitions on a singular item. So for example, I will go into my element section and search for something like, um, let's say I search for something like park. So I can take a photo of a park, I can take videos, or I can even design my own one with these little graphics. So let's say I have this graphic over here this and I can expand it and I can use this to like create a background you can really choose whatever you want if you want something like this we can do this so let's just take this so let's say this is our background and I'm just going to lock this in position the reason that I like to lock it is because uh let's say I wanted to make I want it to be like a set background now what I'm going to do let's say I want to add uh something like sunrise so first off i'm going to give it a blue sky first i'm going to go to dark color now after i have added my sky uh let's say i want to create a video where like the sun is going up and then down so for that first off i'm just going to take my first frame and click on duplicate page now i'm going to add on my second page i'm going to go into elements i'm going to search for the sun and I'm just going to take any one graphic, so like this one. Now the reason I'm using this one is because I want to show it entering. So I would click on layer. And you can also choose to, you know, uh, layer this in the back with the building in the front as well. But that might be slightly too diff difficult. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to place it over here. And I'm going to just do a quick preview. And obviously I don't want the animation to look like this. So I will take a look at the transition and i will just go on ahead and remove all animations from this video i would just click on this and i would click on scrapbook click on remove all animations like this because i want it to look seamless so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to add transition and in it let's say i just want it to be like a match and move transition now after that I will just duplicate my page once more and let's say I want to do it with maybe a more um, grizzly little sun uh, so it's a little more easier for you guys to see. I'm going to do it with this one instead. This and I'm just going to do this bit over here and then in the third frame I'm going to place it slightly upward and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to Click on this item, click on animate, scroll down, and you want to go on ahead and create my animation. So I'm just going to create a very simple movement style from here. This, so we have it over here, and I'm going to make it like a steady path like this. And just like that, I have this little animation added. So if I preview my video from here, so you guys can see our sun comes up and then you can uh, see it's going to start moving. Now you guys saw the abrupt change. So to prevent any kind of abrupt change, you want to add the transition. So you want to take a look at both of your frames over here. And in between your frames, you're going to click on add transition and add match and move. And you can choose the duration of this. So now I can play it once more so you guys can see we have our little match and move transition. And I'm going to cut this part a little shorter because I really don't want that long. Cut this a little shorter as well. And you can expand the one with the animation just so it's easier for the animation to be completed like so. 
And in this way, we have created animations. Now, you don't have to use the same way that I did. You can really do it in many different ways. Let's say, for example, I'll just take the same background. So we have this little background. And if we add something like a skater, so I would usually take something that is like moving just so it has a really cute little look like this. And I would resize it over here, place the item over here. And now what I can do is I can add a page to, I'm just going to click on the item, click on duplicate page. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to, in the second page, I'm going to move it all the way over here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add the transition of match and move. And I would add a very large duration like this. And now if we preview our little animation once more, and obviously I would reduce the time. This. So just like that, you can create a bunch of different video animations. So just like that, you can create a bunch of different video animations. You can even do this with video backgrounds. So for example, you have like a busy New York kind of background you want to add. You can go into elements, search for whatever you want. So if you go into elements and you can go into videos and within your videos, you can search for whatever you want. Let's say we want to search for Japan. Or let's search for Tokyo. And you know, it's like busy street. We want to show something like that. And we can just place that video background. So we can just place a video background like this. And we'll, from our video background, we can even add items on top of it and add animate them. So let's say we have this little item like this, or I'm just add something going to graphics, going to walking. So just taking this animation over here. We can add this and even on top of the video, what I can do, like I can just take it over here and I can just go on ahead and position it. So you can just take your element and we are going to duplicate our slide, duplicate our page, place it ahead a little in the next one and trim up the section that you want it to be placed ahead from, from the first video like this. And then you place it ahead, add your magic transition of match and move, increase the duration. So, and now if we preview this from over here, kind of gonna look like he, the person was walking. Obviously, the more frames you add, the smoother it will appear. So that was it for today. I hope you guys found this video helpful. Make sure to like this video and subscribe to the YouTube channel and comment down below the best tips and tricks that I have taught you within this video. And make sure to also share this video with your friends and family and to other creators as well so you can help them out as well. And to anyone that might need to know this basic detailed platform and how you navigate through these different social websites. So I hope this was helpful enough for you and make sure that you do leave a comment down below if I missed out on anything and if there is anything you would like to add and I will catch you guys in the next video.